Well, welcome back everybody. I'm sure you can see. We got it. We got it. So, time to finish up this round bale and get it out. Uh, like three weeks left <laughs> before season opener. So, it's, uh, it's about time. Hopefully finish it up today and get it out sometime this coming week. Um, let the deer get used to it. So, I'm going to drop it off. Run in the shop, grab some uh, some poly, and uh, get at her. Oh yeah! There it is. Okay, well you can see. There's been a few additions to uh, the round bale blind here. Um, in waiting for the cover to uh, arrive, I've done a little bit of work. Um, just kind of run through it here quick. So I've used a half inch conduit, um, just kind of a bone structure for the skeleton more or less, um, just to stiffen it up. I've welded it. Um, why I went with half inch conduit? Um, is so I can hang GoPros and gear off of it with their little bicycle clamp and uh, uh, focus and other cameras and gear that you need. Um, it's light, it's strong, it's got a little wobble to it, but uh, a little bit more reinforcing, and it should be good to go. Cut two windows. They just kind of fold up and down. Other than that, it's pretty well close to being done here. Um, I'm gonna put one more piece of rebar along the bottom of the, the windows here just to stiffen it up, and that'll be good. Then we'll wrap it. But as always, tunes first, so let's get her cranking. Okay, so I got her all kind of tacked together here. Um, just gonna put a support between the conduit and the rebar here. <clears throat> Same on the other side of the window there. Just to, uh, I guess, give this some rigidability. Um, other than that. Now, who is excited for archery season or whatever season? this year i know i am stoked for it i am so excited um curious what you guys are chasing opening day um i got a, a white tail buck in mind i've been watching him for a bit free range deer um i'll play a little clip he's he's all right i mean for being a free range deer in a highly pressured area um Around these parts, he'd be considered a very big whitetail. I know there's bigger else in the world, and uh, I don't know, the last couple of years, they've just been outsmarting me, just staying on the field and not coming close to the fence where I normally sat, so hence the reason for the round bale blind. I'm hoping to uh, set it in the field this year, and with any luck, um, they'll come cruising past one night, and that'll be the last time they cruise past a round bale, so. Yeah, I'm stoked. I mean, we got a trip planned at the end of the, the month here. Um, I'll reveal that in the next video. Um, super excited for that one, for that hunt. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll reveal that in the next video. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get this wrapped up and uh, go from there. <laughs>
All right, so other than that, uh, basic structure is done. Um, time to get wrapping. So let's get on it. Throw in another time lapse. Um, yeah, almost done, almost done. Okay, day two. Um, yeah, that went a little a little later than I thought. Uh, just getting up, getting around, throw some shoes on, and uh, get the last little bit of the round bale blind built. Um, yeah, just get some coffee and get out there. Okay, a bit of a recap from last night. Um, threw the Tyvek on. Why I went with Tyvek is keep most of the wind out but a little bit of uh, breathability um, don't want it too hot in there I mean if I have to I'll put a little bit of poly along the ridges and uh, keep the rain or moisture out uh, maybe at the back there too but uh, as of right now it is ready for the cloth whatever you want to call it yeah, let's get her up. All right, well, I've double wrapped it just because uh, I could see too much of the white tie back there. But uh, as you can see, for the most part, it is covered. A few things I've noticed, it's hard to cut. This is like a cocoa fiber mat almost. Um, other than that, I wish I'd use poly instead of Tyvek just because of the white, it's so bright. Um, poly, I probably could have got away with one layer and uh, cut down on cost, but I mean the roll cost me about $100, so it's not terrible, but it would have been nice if it were cheaper, right? I always wish that. So right now I'm just going to cut the windows and the doors in and uh, tie everything down and go from there. Well, we got her all done. It's looking pretty good. A few things, but I'll explain that in a second. I'm gonna run through it, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like right now, and it is pretty cool. I like it, so. Three, two, one. Alright, so I've gone ahead and tucked all the excess underneath the round bale here and uh, secured it or sandwiched it with some 1x6 um, screwed into the base there. So it's got everything sandwiched, um, shouldn't rip out, hopefully not, but yeah, other than that, um, got the doors and windows cut. I ended up using a uh, bread knife to do so. Just seemed to uh, cut this cocoa fiber stuff a whole lot better. 
There's one. Two windows. Not too bad. Use some tie wire just to uh, hold things kind of in place. And the door, kind of the same thing. I cut only one side, the top, and a little bit down on the hinge, left the hinge side together. So that works out inside here. Go to two windows. Open floor. It's it's a little warm in here, but now if there's a few things I would have changed would be the tie back. Um, here I thought it would be breathable. It's white and it's bright, so I think the cheapest solution is just go grab a couple cans of spray paint, um, some green and tan, uh, just spray down the, the tie back inside here for the backdrop. Um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. It will be a little warm. Um, currently it's 35 degrees Celsius outside right now. And in here it probably, well, it feels like 40, but probably not, 37, something like that. Not a whole lot of air movement in here, but other than that, I'm super stoked with it. I can't wait to get it out, sit in it for, uh, for archery here. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below, uh, what you would do different. Um, I'm always open for suggestions and ideas to make things better and efficient. I kind of set this up for filming and for portability. Um, just light, light was my number one thing. It, uh, it's not gonna be stationary. Um, it's only gonna be there for about a month until his cows come in to the field. So, like I said, light, um, not too much into it. So, yeah, it's getting hot in here, so I'm gonna get out. Yeah, not bad. I'd say, ah, oh, probably two easy days. Two easy days it can be built. Um, don't necessarily have to weld everything like I do. You could just use tie wire and just tie the crap out of everything. And yeah, I think that's pretty well wrapped. Um, like I said, I'll get the, the backdrop in there. That needs to change. That's just too odd. So that or I can probably lay some more of that fabric along the back there. But we'll see what I decide. Either way, that's gotta gotta change. So well, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, my first time building one, and I did it as cheap and easy as possible, light as possible. Hope it inspires you guys to uh, build your own one day or build one this season. And uh, yeah, all the best to you guys in, in this hunting season coming up. So like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one. Oh, next one, I got a, I got a pretty sweet update on a, on a hunt here at the end of the month. So excited to share that with you guys. Um, stay tuned, have a good one.